But Grady Eifert also making his way into the starting lineup. He is just a grinder for Matt Painter. Absolutely. A missed shot there, but an and one by Taj Benny following his own miss. Harms is credited with the foul. As you see the replay, ben He's got a lot, a, a lot of room to make up. Eifert shot 65.9% from the field. A good drive there by Neftali Alvarez. Eifert open in the corner. Misses. And Evan Boudreaux, who entered the game, was able to tap it to him. Eifert completes the and one. And there is some passion the hustle. from number 24. Eric Hunter Jr. pushes the floor. The freshman is now going to fire. That's a three. Welcome to Mackey, young man. Annapolis player of the year coming into his freshman, his true freshman season as a Boilermaker. A lot of good players from that city as Alver Alvarez, rather, is able to hit. Purdue now running the half-court offense. And Ryan Klein, good pump fake. He fires from deep, and he nails it. Attempt to score was Jesus Cruz. He's unable to deliver. Cruz is the leading scorer from Fairfield as Carson Edwards Cal gets another one. They're going to call that a three. But Matt Harms with a dunk on the other end. But since then, it's been all Purdue, who's leading 28 to 16 now. But Kasababu makes it a 10-point game. Finds Evan Boudreaux, who checked into the game at the break. And so did Sasha Stefanovic. And Stefanovic is pure from three. Stefanovic was ready to pull. Instead, he sets the offense. We've seen that all night. This stags defense as Carson Edwards pulls up. As Sanghor Peterson is unable to finish at the rim. And now Carson Edwards, this is his game. There's some fast break points for you, Hunter. Carson Edwards is feeling it tonight. Great inbounds play by the Boilermakers. Watch out for Kasababu Kasa going to the Babu. hoop. Throw it down. Kinks will work themselves out as this team learns to work together. Good drive by Benning, but Matt Harms says no way. Kasababu finds Alvarez, and now Alvarez using his body, but Matt Harms delivers the block and the reaction like you just mentioned, Hunter. Leaves it for Grady Eifert. Now back to Carson, and he'll pull. And he got fouled and count it. This kid is unconscious right now. There's where Nojel Eastern, as a guard, his height comes into play, being able to keep that shot from happening. Talaferro launches and hits. He's got three threes on the day. The Eifert comes down with the board, and now Carson Edwards pushing. And he's going to fire and nail it. Out of body is Carson Edwards right now. 25 for the superstar. And we'll see what they can do with Kasababu. Their offensive leader off the floor. A good back cut there by Mattia Millen. With being such a young roster, they're trying to learn their own identity because it's different than it was last year. As Alvarez finds the bottom of the net there with a three. Hunter Jr. now slicing in the lane, finds Boudreaux, and he's able to lay it in. Hunter Jr. now with five. And a good hands there by Sasha Stefanovic. Ryan Klein leading the break. Finds Hunter Jr. easy. A dribble drive. And Talaferro finds his first two-point basket made. Hit three threes before that. Line ends the 5-0 run by Fairfield. It's their longest run since they started the game up. Six to nothing. Alvarez. Adds another layup. He has just been Alf excellent with just over five to play in the second half. Brett Douglas and Hunter Massengill here as Ryan Klein finds the bottom of the net. Shot rims out, and now Purdue looking, and Carson Edwards firing, and you know it. Carson Edwards, he's got 30. Kyle King. Puts himself on the score sheet with that rebound, and Stefanovic will dribble it out for Matt Painter's bunch. The Boilermakers struggled at the beginning, but after that, it was all Purdue, and they showed you why they're the number 24 team in the country.